researchers posit the theory of the universe's origin, which remains the main explanation for the beginnings of the universe, including the formation of stars, planets, and life on those planets, including ourselves. Regardless of its somewhat unconventional name, the Big Bang offers a distinct, brief look into what could have happened. At first, the universe was dense, compressed into a space more modest than a pinhead, with particles thickly packed. From this microscopic point, a gigantic blast of matter and energy, known as the Big Bang, occurred. This event, happening billions of years ago, paved the way for the unfolding of cosmic history. However, advancements in scientific knowledge have led to increasing inconsistencies with the expectations of the theory of how things came to be. When NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most advanced space science observatory of all time, researchers anticipated that its observations would support the Big Bang hypothesis. Unfortunately, after only one year in space, the telescope astonished researchers with its remarkable ability to peer deep into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's exceptional capabilities have revealed galaxies tracing back to a time so ancient that it challenges our understanding of the universe's origins. This discovery has sparked an intense investigation into what existed before the Big Bang. One critical moment in this journey occurred when astronomer Rohan Natu, working with data from the telescope, inadvertently discovered a galaxy dating back a mere 300 million years after the Big Bang, making it the oldest galaxy ever observed. NASA's revelation sent shockwaves through the academic community, highlighting the extraordinary potential of the James Webb Telescope. Its mission to revolutionize our understanding of the universe has already begun, promising to uncover profound insights into the earliest epochs of cosmic existence. This epoch, previously scarcely investigated, holds the key to understanding the formation of the first stars and galaxies. The telescope's discoveries have surpassed initial assumptions, uncovering galaxies with characteristics exceeding prior predictions. This unforeseen abundance of early galaxies has ignited a whirlwind of scientific inquiry, prompting researchers to reconcile these observations with existing theories. As scientists grapple with these findings, they confront significant questions about the fundamental nature of the universe and the forces shaping its evolution. Moreover, the James Webb Telescope's technology is revolutionary. Positioned 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, protected from terrestrial interference, and cooled close to absolute zero by its tennis court-sized sun shield. The telescope features a colossal segmented mirror and exquisitely sensitive instruments designed to reveal details of the early universe. Until recently, the concept of cosmic dawn, known as the Epoch of Reionization, was thought to have occurred no more than a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This period marks the time when the first stars and galaxies began to form. The course of this evolution remains a subject of intense study with hypotheses ranging from the effects of dark matter and dark energy to interactions between starlight, gas, and dust. The telescope's observations of galaxies from cosmic dawn present a remarkable opportunity for cosmologists to test how they interpret these fundamental phenomena. By examining these ancient galaxies, researchers can either confirm the validity of their current models or identify gaps in understanding that could lead to significant new revelations. Initially, it was projected that the telescope would find only a few faint and small galaxies in its pilot studies. However, the reality has far exceeded these expectations. The telescope's very first images of the distant universe revealed numerous galaxies with ages, sizes, and luminosities that surpassed all predictions. This surprising abundance of early galaxies has triggered a race among astronomers to claim new records for the earliest known galaxies. Each day brings reports of new record-breaking discoveries, leaving the academic community in awe and prompting a reassessment of our understanding of cosmic history. Following the James Webb Telescope's discoveries, scholars and observers have been scrambling to explain the presence of these unexpectedly mature early galaxies. Some speculate that errors in the analysis of the telescope's initial observations might account for these anomalous findings. However, the consensus remains that these discoveries represent a paradigm shift in our understanding of the early universe and offer tantalizing clues about the nature of cosmic evolution. The new revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope regarding early galaxies raise significant questions about the nature of the universe and challenge the assumptions of standard cosmological models. 
While some researchers hypothesize whether these observations can be reconciled with existing theories, others suggest that they could indicate the universe is even more complex and unique than previously imagined. The fundamental understanding of how the universe emerged from primordial chaos is now in question. The early discoveries made by JWST have the potential to alter our comprehension of cosmic history, shedding light not only on distant epochs and galaxies but also on the very nature of our own Milky Way galaxy. As Mark McCarran, a senior advisor for science and exploration at the European Space Agency, aptly puts it, you build these machines not to confirm the worldview but to break it. You just don't know how it will break. The origins of JWST can be traced back to the Space Telescope Science Foundation in 1985. Even before the Hubble Space Telescope was launched, G. White, then deputy director of SSI, was tasked with envisioning what might come after Hubble. Despite initial reservations, White and a small team began laying the groundwork for what would ultimately become the next generation space telescope, later renamed JWST after a former NASA administrator. Unlike Hubble, which primarily observes visible light, JWST was designed to see in the infrared spectrum, allowing it to peer much deeper into the universe. This capability is crucial for studying early galaxies whose light has been shifted into the infrared due to the expansion of the universe, making them invisible to telescopes like Hubble. With its large, cold, star-like mirror, JWST became the premier tool for unlocking the secrets of cosmic dawn. The need for JWST was underscored in 1995 when the Hubble Deep Field observation revealed a wealth of galaxies in what was believed to be an empty patch of sky. This discovery indicated the richness of the early universe and highlighted the necessity of a telescope capable of probing even deeper into cosmic history. After over 20 years of development and at a cost of around $10 billion, JWST was finally launched on Christmas Day in 2021. By July 2022, it was ready to begin its first year of scientific observations. Early projects like the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Program and the Deep Field Survey were specifically designed to search for early galaxies. While initial expectations were modest, the results far surpassed predictions. JWST's observations have challenged existing ideas about the early universe, revealing galaxies that defy conventional models. These astonishing revelations emphasize the importance of pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration and highlight the groundbreaking potential of cutting-edge technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope. As researchers continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, they are poised to reshape our understanding of cosmic history and the forces that have shaped our universe into what we see today. The early observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope have amazed astronomers by uncovering incredibly distant galaxies nearly back to the earliest moments of the universe. Before JWST, the most distant known galaxy was GNZ 11, discovered in 2015, with a redshift of 11 corresponding to a cosmic age of about 400 million years. However, from the outset of JWST observations, the GLASS team, led by Rohan Natu, made a groundbreaking discovery. They identified a galaxy named Glass Z13 with a redshift of 13, approximately 70 million years earlier in cosmic history than GNZ11. The rapid pace of these discoveries was facilitated by improved methods for estimating redshift, which, while less precise than direct measurements, provide a quick assessment of a galaxy's distance. Remarkably, Glass Z13 appeared surprisingly bright and massive, containing a stellar mass equivalent to billions of suns despite being significantly younger than the Milky Way. Subsequent observations revealed even more surprising findings, with some galaxies exhibiting estimated redshifts as high as 20, indicating their existence a mere 180 million years after the Big Bang. Some of these galaxies displayed mature structures, a feature not expected so early in cosmic history. Furthermore, evidence emerged for galaxies comparable in size to the Milky Way at a redshift of 10, less than 500 million years after the Big Bang. These rapid developments challenged the predictions of the standard cosmological model, Lambda Cold Dark Matter, LCDM, which describes the universe's evolution based on our understanding of dark energy and dark matter. According to this model, galaxies of such size and luminosity should not have formed so early in cosmic history. The emergence of massive galaxies in the early universe presents a significant puzzle for cosmologists. To understand this situation, it is essential to comprehend the early stages of the universe's evolution. 
In the first seconds after the Big Bang, the universe was a hot and dense soup of primordial particles. Over millions of years, the first stars began to form, laying the groundwork for galaxies. This process of cosmic evolution from chaotic beginnings to the structured universe we observe today is believed to have taken about one billion years. JWST observations have challenged this timeline by revealing galaxies that appear too mature for their cosmic age. Instead of observing numerous small protogalactic fragments merging to form larger galaxies, as predicted by current models, JWST has identified galaxies that are already sizable and luminous. Observations with instruments like the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile have provided additional evidence supporting the validity of these distant galaxies, ruling out the possibility of low redshift contaminants. These remarkable discoveries open new avenues for understanding the early universe and may require adjustments to our current cosmological models. JWST continues to reshape our understanding of cosmic history, testing previously established assumptions and pushing the boundaries of astronomical exploration. The absence of detectable dust in the observations made by ALMA highlights the challenges faced by telescopes in confirming observations made by the advanced capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope. As Rohan Nata noted, while JWST can follow up on its own observations, ALMA's difficulty in detecting the galaxy's features underscores the complexities of verifying such discoveries. The implications of JWST's observations are profound, potentially challenging the accepted LCDM cosmological model and necessitating revisions. Michael B. and Kulin expressed surprise at the results, suggesting a significant departure from our current understanding of cosmology. One controversial theory that could explain these discoveries is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which challenges the existence of dark matter and proposes alternative explanations for observed gravitational effects. JWST observations aligning with MOND's predictions have intrigued proponents like Mark McClock, who sees this as additional evidence supporting the theory. However, skepticism remains among some researchers, such as Ja Seip, who highlight the difficulties in reconciling MOND with existing data. On the other hand, the absence of dust in early galaxies could offer a simpler explanation for their brightness, potentially complicating efforts to accurately measure their masses. Andrea Ferrara proposes that dust may not have had sufficient time to form in the early universe or may have been expelled during galaxy formation. Charlotte Artisan and her colleagues suggested that JWST might be detecting the most luminous young galaxies, which are easier to observe. David Spurgle proposes that intense high-mass star formation in the early universe could explain the observed brightness of these galaxies. He hypothesizes that early magnetic fields might have played a role in triggering star formation, offering a potential explanation for the rapid growth of galaxies in the early universe. The rapid influx of scientific papers stemming from JWST's initial observations underscores the significance of these discoveries and the substantial implications they hold for our understanding of cosmology. As researchers continue to explore JWST data, they may uncover further insights that challenge and expand our comprehension of the universe. When the first data began streaming down from the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists eagerly anticipated the results. Many had been preparing their data analysis pipelines for years in advance. Instead of following the traditional peer review process, which can often take months, astronomers chose to publish their findings on AR-14, a site where scientific papers can be uploaded after minimal review by moderators, but well before formal peer review. This approach allowed for a new form of peer review to unfold in near real-time on platforms like Twitter and other social media channels. Rohan Natu describes it as science by press release, and the ensuing frenzy of discussion was intense and unexpected. Nancy Levinson, the interim director of STSCI, admits to underestimating the scale of the activity. However, there are concerns about the potential drawbacks of this rapid dissemination of discoveries. Claus Pontypit, JWST project researcher at STSCI, notes that while the quick sharing of results enables rapid publicity and discussion, it also carries the risk of rushing the process.